Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video and today we're doing something very different than what I usually like to upload. This is one of those videos where I'm actually going to help out a lot of people who may struggle in the Crucible. Um, so if you want to learn a few things, maybe examine my gameplay, I'm here to basically break down a gameplay that I... Um, played very differently. This is not my playstyle. You guys know from watching my videos that I'm a very aggressive, fast-paced player. I hate playing slow and I'm honestly, I don't really care about playing smart either because I'm just one of those people that love to run and gun and make nasty plays, go for clips, all that kind of stuff. So you guys know me and uh, in this uh, this clip right here, I actually uh, ended up playing very, very differently. I wanted to play smart and see how high of a KD I could get. And I actually ended up getting a pretty massive KD at the end of this game. You guys will find out at the end and I'm, I might spoil it in the thumbnail or anything like that. Um, but still, I thought this could be a great gameplay for me to commentate over, kind of explain exactly what I'm doing in every single play. And hopefully at least a, f a handful of you guys can kind of understand what I'm doing here, hopefully can learn from this and, and maybe put this to use in your own gameplay and you can see some sort of results. And uh, if you guys like this enough, maybe I can make this a series because dropping uh, high kill games like this where I don't die much at all is, uh, is not that difficult to be honest. I was doing it today and I had three games in a row where I had like 25 plus KDs in all three of the games. So I can definitely do stuff like this more often. But anyways, let's jump right into the actual detailed breakdown. For that first kill right there, that is the one thing that I love doing in almost every single scenario. If somebody sees you around a corner and you just have enough time to push behind that corner as he's rushing you, you always want to jump in the air and basically peek him while you're on top of him. And they never notice it for some reason. Like, I don't know what it is, but people don't have their sound on or they're not very aware, but it always works. You have the jump on them. You can land a solid amount of damage before they're aware that you're on top of them. And it's just something I love to do. Ended up rotating around the map and I have a 1v1. I think my teammate actually helped me out with that one right there. And these are the dreaded stairs on Pacifica. I am a... Not I don't want to say I'm a hater of the stairs, but I just do not vibe well with these stairs. Whenever you go up, I feel like you're really committing to something and you can get shot from, you know, your right hand side and somebody can jump up from the side of the stairs. And generally, I don't like being here too often. I threw a grenade there because it was a guy who was hiding. My teammate had the pinch and I just stared down that lane because I knew I would eventually get that kill or my teammate would pick up the assist. I'm backing up here because, again, I'm, I'm just not really very confident in this position right here. Uh, so I decided to actually switch it up and go rotate, get a different angle completely and leave that behind. Whenever you're playing, don't feel like you need to force any kind of, you know, engagement. If you don't like where you're sitting, then you can definitely just change your, your angle, get a different flank, you know. Uh, do all sorts of stuff like that. Now, I was the first person to push up there, which was a little bit dangerous. I probably should not have done that. That was a little bit too aggressive on my part, but the fact that I had a teammate behind me made me a little bit more comfortable. And in this position here, I know there's a guy to my left, but I don't want to totally commit to that kill right there because I knew there was a guy underneath me. He was going to see me on the radar. He could easily jump up and just melee me from behind, and that's not what I wanted. So again, same thing happened here. There was guys to my left, but I can't focus on them because there's a guy uh, over to the right-hand side of that bridge. So I ended up popping my super there, taking that one easy kill. And I believe we get another one right here and uh, one more on the radar. I see him to my left-hand side. Side that's the closest guy my super is running out and so that's the only thing that makes sense in my mind this is where i got a little bit unlucky i made two mistakes here and it wasn't really mistakes number one i thought my teammate was closer to me than he was and he just you know so he just happened to not have my back there i think he was maybe on the right hand side of this building so he couldn't really help out and my number two mistake was that uh i actually clicked my paddle to shade step, I clicked it a little bit too slow where I fumbled or something like that, and I ended up only crouching instead of shade stepping. Probably wouldn't have, you know, gained all my health back from that, and I probably still would have died, but that is the only death uh, in this entire game. So the rest of this is just nice kills uh, all the way through. My teammate opens up with a great double piece rocket, and that's the only reason why I feel comfortable pushing up. I wanted to separate myself from the person in front of me and behind me, so I got behind that box. And then I heard a storm caller, and I was like, okay, we're getting, we're getting the hell out of here because I don't feel comfortable winning that gunfight right there. We tagged somebody up with a grenade. I see people are coming from behind, so I decided to challenge this guy. He was already weak anyways, and then the heavy ammo spawned up right beside me. 
Um, I think this is the point where the guy pops an arc strider. I jumped, try getting away as quickly as possible, and I got lucky because he didn't go for me, and on top of that, my teammate ended up getting the kill on that. Got one kill right there with my sniper. Second one was on uh, the Stormcaller, and it was actually a headshot. If I didn't land that, he probably could would have killed me and my teammates, so that was a pretty nice snipe. Decided to cut through the map again and go to where more of my teammates are at. I see this guy still got a Blade Dancer active, so I don't really feel too worried about coming up here with him. This is a pretty long sight line, so I pop, pop out the sniper, get a few quick shots in, and uh, get this guy off spawn. That's a really nice angle right there, actually. I like that angle quite a lot. And then, of course, I missed the easy shot on the guy running straight at me. Not even, you know, not moving whatsoever. I always choke those easy shots for some reason. My teammates just got obliterated right there with the triple down from the Nova Bomb. I just decided to shoot them. And, uh, again, I'm kind of just playing around corners and stuff like that just in case if i'm ever in a scenario where somebody pushes me i can get behind a corner i can jump up and really throw off their movement and their shot but for the most part i'm sticking with my teammates here i'm playing smart i'm not letting people challenge me you know 1v1 in the outskirts of the map or 1v2 tons of people on my radar here so i decide to pop my super we get three easy kills just like that and i i think i proceed to get two more kills one guy up here and then we slam down for the nice fifth kill right there so that was pretty awesome those guys are too far away so i decided that i'm not going to challenge them whatsoever and he decided to push me so i thought you know what maybe i should back up a little bit no teammates too close to me and uh, i see a lot of them on the radar here it's bright red so i thought you know what no teammates with me i'm just gonna get out of there and that was actually the right choice because i came over here and helped team shot a blade answer with my teammate and uh, from there i kind of regained control of the map let my teammates spawn in as as you can see to my left two of them spawn in and just like that we have more reinforcements more map presence and uh, from here I get a nice little 1v1 crimson gets my health back even if I were to you know take a lot of damage from that guy and I see these guys on my flank and I decided to help out my teammate they're distracted obviously I got one tagged up and the ballsy guy decided to challenge me again after I got him weak I was not expecting that but I somehow luckily got the win on him and of course jump around corners is what I always recommend because it seems to always work a little bit unlucky there, teammates stole my heavy ammo, I wanted to get a few more, <laughs> a few more nice snipes in with, in this game, but it is what it is. He ended up getting a double with a coil, so that's worth it. I see on the radar, my teammate actually was attracting a guy over here, and I saw that he was coming closer and closer, so I knew he was going to jump up, so I jumped even higher than him, and he did not expect that whatsoever. I basically took no damage whatsoever from that, and that gave me the We Ran Out of Metals medal right there, so that was pretty awesome. Um, we're just helping out my teammates here. I was going to back up because four of us in that room was no bueno, okay? If they threw an arc you know an arc grenade in there or anything like that that would have tagged us all but since i saw the rift go down i thought you know what i'll stay here we got some arc souls can do some extra damage and of course i saw that golden gun crouch in the corner and if he would have killed my teammate there he would not have seen me on the radar as i was crouching and i could have easily got a few shots in his back and then meleeed him and that would have been a wrap on the gold he would have been a nice play i see on my radar there's lots of red and i anticipate that guy coming there i got him weak and again, these guys are just not playing smart. I had him weak, and I looked to my right because I thought the guy would not challenge me. But because this guy may have been a new player or someone who wasn't very experienced, he double peeked me even though he was super weak. And so, as you guys saw, I was getting collapsed on by multiple individuals, so I, I just decided to back the hell up. Now at this point, I know there's at least one guy pushing me. I think there's two, and now I can confirm that there's two on my radar because I saw two dots. I threw a grenade that luckily got a double tag. First guy got a nice kill on him, and the second guy scared the crap out of me. What we did was just utilize our strafe as much as we could there. That was a little bit lucky, I'll be honest with you guys, but I landed all my shots. I did enough strafing to, to the point where he missed some of his shots, and that's what won the gunfight ultimately. I got this first guy, second guy as well. Uh, I think I killed... Oh, my teammate got that. That was really, really close. And I think at this point I also popped my arc strider as well um, The first guy ran away completely, but I ended up chasing him down I believe here and we got a lot of kills here I believe that was three with the arc strider and then I was gonna get out of there because my arc strider was pretty low But I thought you know what if my teammates maybe did a little bit of damage Maybe I could help out I ended up not being able to and at this point here I'll be honest. I just baited my teammate he ran in there I noticed he did a little bit of damage So I helped him out and just like that that was a perfect team shot to wrap up the the game right there he put some sh shots in him he was weak he backed up baited him out i finished him off and that was perfect just like that we went 100 to 68 and what is the kd that we end with it is 50 50 
efficiency not freaking bad whatsoever basically 50 defeats with only one death i could have easily not died in that one scenario but again a few unfortunate things happened at once and that is it for the video thank you guys all so much for watching let me know what you think of this type of video where i explain you know what i do in these matches because i think there's really an audience out there that might appreciate this but i'm not entirely sure because this is the first time i'm doing something like this drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more daily destiny 2 content have yourselves a great day and i'll see you all later Peace.